Russian forces launched a major counteroffensive in the Kursk region, targeting Ukrainian troops. This marks the Kremlin's first significant action in over five weeks since the start of Kyiv's incursion, aiming to dislodge Ukrainian forces from the area. The operation started September 10th, with engagements spilling over into the next day, that according to a top Russian military commander. The conflict's dynamics remain vague, with reports suggesting the troops might be from the front lines in eastern Ukraine or reserves brought in from other parts of Russia. According to military sources, elements of the 155th Marine Brigade, traditionally based in Vladivostok, and veterans of the Ukraine conflict are participating in the offensive. However, the Russian Defense Ministry has yet to confirm these actions. Ukrainian officials did not immediately acknowledge the counteroffensive either. Reports from the Rybar Telegram channel, a Russian military blogger boasting 1 million subscribers, indicate Russian forces recaptured at least two areas and claimed success with minimal resistance. This counteroffensive occurs in the backdrop of a larger ongoing conflict, where Ukraine managed a historic military push into Russia, the first of its kind since World War II seizing control of approximately 500 square miles of Russian territory in August. Analysts from Deep State, a mapping service affiliated with the Ukrainian Defense Ministry, report Russian troops crossed the same river in Kursk with armored units, further complicating Ukraine's tactical advantage, particularly after their attempts to destroy bridges to slow Russian advances. President Vladimir Putin claimed Ukraine's actions in Kursk did not impede Russia's advances in eastern Ukraine. Instead, he argued they weakened Kyiv's defenses, enabling Russian forces to accelerate their offensive in the Donbass region, a key strategic goal for Moscow. Despite these developments, Russia continues its military operations in eastern Ukraine, particularly pushing towards Pokrovsk in the Donetsk region. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Ryan Robertson. For more unbiased, straight fact reporting like this, be sure to download the Straight Arrow News app today or log on to san.com.